This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And welcome to a new series called Epic Builds, where I take your epic builds and show them off to the world. So today, as you see, I am a different character. We're not our normal self. I got this entire storage folder and installed it into my Starbound so we can see it firsthand and explore this epic build goodness. Today's epic build is called Elysia, Elysia. It's what's on the screen right now. And it is by this person. And if you want more info about it, besides what I'm going to show you and talk about today, there is a link to its page in the description below. Okay, let's get to exploring this epic build. So this is the upper area of the build. And if we come down here and go through this door, I've done a tiny little bit of exploring, but not a ton. So I really wanted to experience most of it with all of you all. I've kind of I've already been through the top here. As you can see it's like this cool, awesome lava area with lava pumps everywhere. And the whole uh, reason the person who made this built it was because they had beaten the game and got bored and saw everybody else's epic builds. So the person decided to create their own amazing build. And why is this not working? Come on, you can do it. Chug along there. You got this. Okay, anyway, we're going to walk. So anyway, that takes you down here and to this area here, which is just more lava and goodness. This is built on a lava planet. Anyway, the person who built it finished the uh, the game and decided that uh, he or she wanted to do an amazing epic build as well because after seeing all the others and decided to theme it up with uh, the fact that their person had beaten it, their person's the protector, the last one needed to protect the world and decided to start their own new world or new city in a place that could not be damaged as easy as the old world and by doing so decided to build an underground lava city so that's what we're going to explore so really neat up here up top all kinds of turrets ready to protect the city and anything that may try to attack above all right let's head down to the bottom and take a look at this crazy crazy build like this build is insanely big and I will show you all a picture of it when we're done doing a little bit of exploring because I actually do have a zoomed out um, picture that shows the world or that shows the city as a whole. So we will take a look at that. Like it's so big that you need teleporters to get around it. I would really like to see once the um, they do the director mode or whatever it's supposed to be like this maybe being a dungeon or something that you have to explore like an old city that you have to go in and fight a boss somewhere at the end of it like it could easily be a level all to its own it's so massive and when i say like massive you all you just don't even have any clue till we get down here so let's go this way and look around a little bit i haven't been this way yet not 100 percent sure what's over here maybe a dead end maybe something amazing and it's so big that we probably won't actually I can guarantee you we're not going to get to every nook and cranny of this thing. But I figured I would take you all through it, show you some of the stuff, maybe give those of you, uh, those of you out there who enjoy building some inspiration and those of you who, who haven't really got into building yet uh, some inspiration. So this looks like the shield generator room. We got some shield generators, tons of tech consoles, some bunk beds, like the guard room to keep people safe, to keep the shields on the city. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's head on back down this way. Tons of doors protecting each of the ways so that the city can be sealed off from different you know invaders and stuff like that. They have to get through all of these doors. Let's... Uh, speed this up a little bit here pardon the lag in the frame rate if I zoom out the city's so big that it, it actually chokes my computer up a little let's go up this way and see what's up here this might be another exit I'm not 100% sure is this an exit what do we have yeah I think it may be or it just keeps going up I don't know let's see where it goes and we're still going up Oh, look at what we have here. What is this room? Very interesting. Tons of turrets. Look at all these turrets everywhere. And a teleporter. And... Oh, it looks like it's just a separate little uh, entryway. That's pretty neat. Let's go up and check out the top of it. Then we're going to hit this teleporter and go to one of these other locations. Because, like I said, it's so big that you need teleporters to get around. 
Like, that's how massive this place is. So it looks like, yeah, it just comes up to the top. Oh no, does this go all the way up? And we are here at the very tip top space tower. So not only is it a lava base, it's also connected to a space base. Uh, looks like this area is just tons of turrets. This may not be done. Now there are parts of this city that are not complete yet. So let me just put that out there now before anybody's like, oh, this is lame. It's just a bunch of turrets and stuff. This may not be completed yet. This this city and what the person has planned for it, it it's not done. They're still building. So this could be a place that, that isn't completed yet. Um, which I would almost say is is a thing. And we are back down at the bottom. We're gonna go in here and let's hit up this teleporter and explore some other areas because there are other areas with just absolutely amazing stuff. Let's go to Living Sector Tier 2 and let's take a look at that. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the museum. I think you all like that. I've actually been to this area, so we'll take a look at the museum and then we'll explore from there. So you got chairs you can set in and take in all of the art like you would see at a museum and then if we go up here you can see that there is all of the armor and tons of armor I think it's pretty much well may not be all the armors but there are a ton of armors and armor crafting stations and all of that good stuff once again I realize the frame rate is horrible and it is chugging along there is really nothing I can do about that there's just so much on the screen and believe it or not like it's not even hitting my processor or my graphics card that hard I think it's just starbound in the way it's optimized so well, I'll stop for a second let y'all just take a look you got all of the uh, the different fossils and stuff let's head on over this way and if we come over here this looks like the library area you got a library you got your little your mushy paintings tons of library stuff and come on door I really wish I could phase through all of this stuff right now uh, anyway so and then we have different paintings and you got their protector itself I think this is like an area that honors their protectors um, I'm not sure what that is that's a protector at handbook or something maybe and that's of course the matter manipulator you got other protector it's up there let's head on over this way I like how there's turrets just everywhere. Just in case anything bad happens, you got tons of turrets to protect. And then we have this area here, a bunch of fountains. It looks like just a nice entry hallway into the museum over there. Down below looks like the area uh, where all of your vehicles are stored. And come on door then we have this area here. I'm not 100% sure what this area is I like how there's like the diamonds and then the samurai. It's like the little samurai area Let's go down the next level here This is of course the refrigerator area just tons of refrigerators I like how they the they use the ice blocks and then they have the fans Totally looks like a fridge area, cooling area. That's really awesome. Anything in these? Canned food. Canned food for everybody. Oh, there's some, some drinks in there. And nothing in those. Okay, let's move on. Then over here, this looks like the science area. Holy crap, look at all the stuff. Or maybe like the workshop area. You have all your work. Yeah, this is probably, I would call this the workshop area. You have all your benches and everything you need, TVs. You got all your, your armor crafting stations, your health crafting station, like all the good stuff. Definitely, definitely awesome. I like the way it's laid out too. Easy access to everything. We done saw that. That's just the vehicle area. Let's move on down to this next level. Oh, I like the electric doors. That's pretty cool. Do we have to put our handprint? Let's hit, let's hit these buttons and see what happens. Oh, nice. You hit both the buttons and the door opens. Probably got to hit this console. What's this do? Is this open? No clue. What is that hook to? Oh, that's hooked to the doors as well. All right, let's go over this way. This. Oh, that leads into the treasure room. I see. That's cool. I like that. So that all that protection leads into your treasure room with your mounds of treasure. Because, you know, 
what kind of protector would you be if you did not hoard all of the stuff that you found while you were out collecting and protecting? And by protecting, I mean robbing every village that you found. So that's obviously what this is. Pretty neat little area. And you have your secret passage. Oh, that's really neat. So you come up, you walk up your mound, and uh, behind it is a secret passage that leads down into another area where your vaults are set in just to hoard all of your things. Really neat area, and I like, you can tell a lot of thought one in this area. Let's go back up here real quick and just take a look. Whoa there, partner. Let's, uh, can we actually, oh, that looks like, I'm wondering if that's wired to something else that actually opens this whole area up when let's see here what are we connected to oh yeah that's that could be all hidden let's go take a look at that real quick hopefully we don't lose it what are you connected to we lost it you're connected to something is it this guy oh he's a switch that's cool what did he switch oh yeah look at it that's so neat oh man that's so neat it's completely sealed off and hidden by this little switch here you don't even know you're just like going along you're like that's just a random guy that's just you know and he blends right in with all of the others I didn't even know this thing existed that's so freaking awesome okay let's head back over sure enough that's that's great that is freaking fantastic Okay, let's move on to the next room. I saw another room down here that I wanted to check out. Anyway, so this is uh, more of a storage area to uh, hoard everything because you must hoard all of the things. Let's get out of that. Let's go down a little bit. More storage area. What's this? Why is that colored? What's in here? Oh, the different waters. That's neat. And if we move on over here. I'm guessing this shows you what blocks are in there, sure enough, anchor. So uh, the creators use the, um, the actual items to give you an idea of what's in the inventories. That is a really great idea, that's awesome. So you know, this is like your crafting stuff that goes with this bench, these is gonna be these blocks. That is an amazing idea, I like that. That's really great to show you for your storage, so at a glance, you know exactly what's in the chests. Okay, great. We got another teleporter, so let's hit up this teleporter, and we will go to another area. Look at this. It's the Florin area. Oh, my God. So much Florin stuff. So much wicker. Oh, man. I can't imagine the amount of hours that has been put into this. Like, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. This build is amazing and while we're looking around i want to just throw out there i want to see other amazing builds so if you have an amazing build uh, leave a comment in the description below and i will do my best to get in contact with you if you have a build on reddit link it and i will contact you on reddit like i want to do more episodes of this showing off these fantastic builds so if you want yours showed off in the future please contact me and i will do my best to make it happen because I definitely want to see, I love looking at, at builds like this. Like, there is so much creativity that goes in these. And they're just absolutely amazing. Let's go down here and look at that. We got, we got our chef. We got our, our cooking area. Come on. Can, can you, no, I don't want to set. I want to go to, the, oh, it's got a little register too. So you can come over here and order your food cooked on a fresh open fire. You know, because the Florence love the meats. So, and then you can, you can buy it. Is there anything in this register? Nope. Okay, let's move on down to the next level and see if we can find another teleporter. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to go right here and we're gonna zoom out. And everything is gonna slow to a crawl. So once again, I apologize, but we can get a nice view of this area. So just this area right here, and you can see it fills the whole screen and goes, you know, above and below the screen still. I mean, it's a massive, massive area. Like, I can't imagine how much time went into this. I mean, it's just crazy. All right, I want to check out this area down here with the monsters and stuff, and then it looks like we have some bathrooms and stuff over here, which is kind of cool. So we're going to zoom back in and go check those out. Okay, let's head on down and see 
if we can find how how to get to those areas there yeah here we go there's a little monster you got your cages your stuff to heal them up neat little statue and a cool bri bridge to run across and you can drop down from the bridge and it looks like we have some stairs over here is this gonna do its thing automatically for the sake of showing off purposes we're just gonna remove this and open that up because I want to go this way and I don't like being told where I can and can't go go through this way and it looks like that's what allows you to get out and yep there's cages tons of little monsters down here they're just in their little pins let's go down here and look at them yep that's really cool I like how it's got all the different cages too really neat concept really cool idea let's go over here and look at the bathroom and uh, I'm sure there is tons more to show off and I would love to but I can't spend hours running around here I, I just wanted to give you all a preview show you like I said get you get you some inspiration so we got our full big on bathroom looks like it's shared bathrooms you know got a shared bathroom with a buddy you got your your uh, public showers and all that good stuff let's head on over this way I want to look at this area because this looks really cool oh this looks like the Nova Kid area all westerny themed and stuff Okay, we're going to zoom out on this, and then I think we're going to wrap it up from there. So, as you can see, this isn't only the Nova Kid area. It looks like we got some uh, an arcade above us and some more storage to the top right. There's some high lotl stuff and some glitch stuff over on the left-hand side. And below us looks like more Nova Kid. Or, or is that Apex? No, I think that's Apex. I see some. Well, I see some Apex and some Nova Kid, so maybe it's just general... Uh, tenant storage or tenant areas really fantastic build I think it's absolutely amazing a very job well done and like I said I want to see more of these so please leave a comment in the description if you have an amazing build link it to your reddit wherever and I will uh, do my best to make more of these videos happen if you all enjoy them that's gonna wrap it up for this video before I go I want to give a quick shout out to my patreon supporters thank you so much for all of your support if you would like to become a patreon and help support the channel there is a link for that in the description below if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you thought if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching